I still love him. But I don't want to love him. You might think I'm going to do what a lot of guys are going to do, which is say, well, now you know how we feel and mock this woman and so on and so forth. I'm not. Because you see, I genuinely feel bad for her. Because there's a lot, and I do mean a lot of good women out there. But the problem is, there's also a lot of not so good women. And they're the ones controlling the narrative right now. The narrative which says, don't approach women. All men are bad. It's all men till it's no men, etc., etc. And men have had it with that. It's been this way for decades now. When you add to it, the risk of losing everything is significantly. At least 50% of marriages end up in divorce, most of which, 80 to 90%, are filed by the women. And that's not even factoring in relationships that broke up before they got married, which again is mostly the women doing. So for men, it's all risk with almost no chance of reward. And men have figured that out, and they're done. They're walking away. Because much like women will go around saying, we don't know who the good men are, so we have to assume you're bad, the same standard is now being applied by men towards women. We didn't make the rules. We didn't set this paradigm up. The ladies did. So I actually feel bad for this woman. I'm going to assume she's a nice woman. Sure, she's been divorced. Okay, some will jump on her for that. I'm not going to. But I would also say to men, be very very careful before you date someone like this. I'm not saying don't date her. I'm saying assess the risk and decide if that risk is worth any potential reward. And that's what men have to do now. Because as I said, that risk is so great of losing everything. Your home, access to your kids, a good portion of your income. I could go on and on. So I wish her well. But as the data is showing, men are done. They're walking away and they're not coming back anytime soon.